folks, this is Dustin Nuss Morant bringing you another ESCA news update video for CSGO and this update features a lot of changes for spectating the game. First up on the list is going to be a change to the flash animations for player models from a third person perspective. Shows them shielding their eyes after being flashed but let you know that they are blind. Now next up on the list is going to be a new laser tag mode for CSGO. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It's going to be actually the addition of vector lines that show you where a player is aiming. It also highlights the player you are targeting in white, either from a third person perspective like this or from fixed camera angles across the map, which we'll discuss in more detail a bit later. Next on the list is now some color coding for the bomb. Uh, the bomb will actually glow yellow when it is dropped, but it also will glow red when it is planted and armed. and also will highlight green when the bomb has been diffused. This adds a little bit more uh, production value to spectate the game. Now, one of the biggest changes is a lot more added UI during freeze time. Now during freeze time you will see the money as well as kills, assists, and deaths from all players from both sides. Another update that was added to this patch was a fix to the recoil bug that previously took place in GoTV demos as well as GoTV where it would appear that there was no recoil in the firing of a gun that has since then been fixed and is now more accurate to the viewer. Now one change that isn't necessarily part of the big package of spectating updates is going to be an update to the op scope which now blurs completely when moving which is I guess more accurate to the inaccuracy of the weapon uh, as you are moving with it. Now as I was talking about earlier there are now added changeable preset camera positions across all the maps that you can in fact hot key. Uh, to different buttons on your keyboard. So this will be huge for camera people as well as movie editors and spectators in general uh, for being able to highlight key positions of maps to highlight and analyze strategy, player movement, and just to overall add to the production value of spectating CS Global Offensive. This is certainly something that we've been talking to Des about a lot and it's really cool that it has come into play. You also can actually do it from console rather than editing the config with the spec underscore position command in uh, the console as you see demonstrated here which allows you to set fixed positions to a key from console that you can jump to. So it's definitely really great stuff. We appreciate you, all of you, for tuning in here to ESCA News. Be sure to follow and subscribe so you can catch all the content that we bring to you here as it's always uh, some great stuff. So definitely be sure to follow. And once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.